Nerd alert! Nerd alert! Hello, this is Damien with DSLRnerd.com. Today I'm going to be comparing two different DSLR cages. One from Film City and the other one from CPM. I don't have an army of dudes like Olivia to help her set up her sets, so it's just me. So I've got a camera up there, uh, hopefully recording um, close-ups of what I've got here on the table. We'll see if it works. Hmm. I kind of wish I had my iPhone to film some too. I don't have enough things to film with. I've got the 5D Mark III right there. I've got an inexpensive Canon camcorder up there. And uh, I wish I had something for close-ups now. And I keep looking at my monitor, which is well above the lens. Such a bad film student I am. I went to school for marketing. I was going to pay other people to set up this kind of crap. So what I have in my hand here is the um, Film City cage, which is a knockoff of the CPM rig. So what it has is a top handle, it's got uh, a top and a bottom plate, it's got four um, carbon fiber rods, it's got two carbon fiber rods at the bottom, and two shorter carbon fiber rods at the top. I'm going to talk about the Film City rig, but basically uh, this is a $75 rig that is carbon copied off the CPM rig. Uh, you'd think that this would be made in China, but no, it's made in India. And it's reasonably lightweight. You got a quick release plate with a lock here that can only insert from the back for some reason. It's pretty well constructed. Uh, the Film City rig does have a notch out, uh, which you would think would be for taking the battery out of the bottom from your camera, uh, but it doesn't quite fit. When your camera's in here, the door will get caught, the or the battery will get caught. It's not quite big enough. Uh, what you do end up needing it for is reaching in uh, to adjust this little guy here, because once you start turning it around and your camera's sitting on top of it, um, it will hit the bottom of your camera. So you've got to pull this out and readjust it, and you end up getting your fingers through uh, the hole here in order to do that. Now, I did a review on this rig before uh, in another video. So I won't go into every single detail. I just want to set up the CPM rig, uh, put the CPM rig together and show you the feel and fit and finish of the different parts. Um, now, as I said, the, the Film City rig here is about $75 on eBay. Uh, and the CPM rig I'm going to review uh, is about $400. I lucked out and found a used one that was never used at a shoot for way, way cheaper. So here is how the CPM rig comes. All shrink wrapped with a Made in USA sticker. This is the Cube Cage 3 by CPM. It retails for about $400. All right, so let's take this CPM apart and assemble it. So what you get with this kit is three handles, um, several carbon fiber rods. These are the uh, mounts for the handles. This is the base plate and top plate, and this is the plate where your camera mounts to. So let's go ahead and take this apart. We've got a handle. Handles. Right away I can tell that these uh, carbon fiber rods are much lighter than the ones that came with the Film City rig. I'll explain what this is later, uh, but this this company CPM is based out of Baltimore, and they used to make military equipment. So, or they still do make military equipment. So, their uh, materials are much stronger than what you get with the Film City rigs. I've got the CPM Cube Rig 3 all laid out. Let's talk about it for a minute. It comes with two Allen wrenches, which are always handy, um, probably for two different kinds of um, 
obviously for two different kinds of nuts. That fits there. I'm probably going to speed all this up so you don't have to see it. That's not a quick release, is it? That's not a very quick looking of a release. Gonna loosen these up just enough to get some long rods through it, and that probably means these two. Right. So we'll get our rods going through here. This cork looks a little a bit dry and little chewed on in the back there, but that's all right. Mine came with a bolt for the quick release, which is not at all quick. I believe CPM has an upgrade for this, so this is probably an older... This is probably an older unit. Yeah, I put these in wrong. This is the front. I put them in the wrong way. I'm awesome. You'll notice here that there's a little stub carbon fiber rod. Uh, that's because this is the cube cage that allows for uh, a monitor to swing out in the back of the 60D and the uh, T234i. Uh, and that's what these little guys are for. They basically can um, go on as extra support so that you can uh, not have one of the rods go in here. Loosen this right side up. I'm going to take this out. I'm going to take this out because I don't need it. And just put in the full rods on both sides. The hole was cut a little bit bad. Not quite round, so I had to hammer that in. Not quite putting it flush to the bottom to buy a little more room inside the cage. Now I'm going to put the two handles on the side. The glue holding this just twisted and gave out. So now this is twisting. These are nice grips but I can feel like whatever's holding them from twisting a little bit is Giving, a, giving way quite easily. All right. Tighten those up in a minute when I get to putting them where I want. And I'll get this top plate on. So on the top of these I'm going to leave a little bit of rod sticking out. Tighten these up. All right. Get out the Allen wrench, loosen the top here. Enough to slide these guys through. All right, so this is the Film City cage and the CPM Cube Cage 3. Um, I had ordered extra handles for this, uh, but I, I had run into a problem with them and sent them back to China. So I don't have side handles on this right now. These feel about the same weight, although I'll weigh them Upstairs I have a scale, but I'm guessing they're about the same weight. 
Um, the top handle on the Film City is nice and tight. There's no flex to it at all. It's got a little bit of play in it. Uh, and I have had my full uh, rig on here with camera and front handles and follow focus and the weight in the back and the pad and everything else and lights and everything up. And there's been a bit of flex to this with all the gear on it that is um, makes you a little bit nervous about this holding. This is formed plastic versus uh, the CPM. Uh, don't quote me on this. Uh, it's some kind of composite. Uh, plastic resin stuff that was used in military grade uh, equipment. So uh, it's little about the same weight, but it's obviously much uh, better constructed. Now the grip, however, on the CPM are turning. They are not glued very well to the rod, and there's flex and turn in all these grips now, uh, right out of the package. So that's not good. I'm going to have to contact CPM to see if they can maybe replace the handles on these because uh, I'm not going to carry five grand worth of you know gear on these and have there be fl uh, turn and flex and then flex in uh, in these handles. That's just not acceptable for what they charge for this. You know this is four hundred dollars retail, so you don't want any turn or flex in that. You can see there's a nice bit of turn in that. Now this is probably an old unit because I know that they've since upgraded this to be more of a quick release. Uh, it's on the wrong side too. On the Film City rig, um, the quick release is on the right side and as I said you've got this hole. Sorry. Do they teach that in film school which way to move because it's backwards from what you think it's supposed to be? <laughs> that drives me crazy. Uh, so there is, I uh, can't see it. So there's a hole in the bottom here which is supposed to be for the battery release but it ends up being uh, access for your fingers to pull out and turn this uh, this quick release to get uh, it tightened because the little bar will hit your camera uh, in the bottom. But the CPM is on the other side for some strange reason so you can't work your fingers in here to get to it. Uh, and you pretty much have to have the other Allen wrench that was included with this to get in there and, uh, and tighten that plate up. So not exactly great when you want to change batteries because you're going to have to have this with you or you're pretty much screwed uh, to get your camera off of here to get the battery. I will put my 5D on here in a minute to see if the battery uh, will come out. Uh, I'm going to doubt it, but who knows? Maybe it will. So on the more comparison stuff. On the website for CPM they show these handles being mounted upside down. You want it up in case you let go of it and it'll catch in your hand. If you let go of it the other way it's going on the floor. So as I said these are about the same weight. It's a little bit bigger. I'd say it looks a little bit wider. The base plates are a little bit wider on the CPM. Um, and note that on the CPM rig there, it's nice and solid. There really isn't much bend in the top and the bottom plate versus on the Film City rig there's definitely an arc to the plate once you get it tightened down. Just so you know, I have my fluid tripod head uh, plate on the bottom of this and I have two screws in it. That's recommended by CPM uh, for extra stability. So whichever one of these you get Find an extra screw and mount two of these to the two screws at the bottom of either of these rigs. The CPM rig did come with these little clamps that are uh, great for cable management. I'm not sure what these little washers are for. Maybe um, they're to add space in between something. I'll have to figure that out. Now note on the Film City, the screws will stick out the bottom causing uh, potential damage to the top of whatever camera you've got in there if you happen to hit them with it. I solved this on the bottom by putting extra washers in, uh, doubled the washers on the top there so that the bottoms don't stick out. I just haven't done that yet on the top of this one. So you want to get some extra washers for these, the little plastic ones or metal ones, to put extra ones on the top so that the threads don't come through on the bottom potentially scratching your gear or the table that it's sitting on. The CPM rig does not have that problem because it's got receivers here for the bolts. 
As you can see on the top of here, I put in some quarter 20 uh, threads that I bought off eBay uh, to add some extra mounting capabilities to this over here as well as underneath the handle here if you have the handle taken off. Uh, CPM, you can order those from CPM. They're like uh, six or seven bucks for a set uh, that you hammer into uh, various other ports of the points on the top of this. So I will plan on ordering some of those from CPM to put those in. There's a video on their website on how to do it. Um, so comparing the two, you can see that the Film City uh, plastic does bow and bend a lot. Um, that's when you tighten those things in. It holds it, but this is $75 and this is $400. So there's definitely a difference in uh, feel. Um, I'm saying the Film City rig is pretty decent. There is one bit of flaw that I discovered with the Film City rig, uh, which led me to pick up that used CPM. When you have your camera on here and your follow focus mounted in the front, when you're moving the follow focus, there is some play in the camera based on all the plastic that's in the quick release and in the base plate here. Um, so what you can do is perhaps order uh, an upgraded base plate and quick release from CPM. Uh, they have a brand that they sell. Uh, it's like $35 for the quick release and the base plate. And that will probably solve that bit of flexing issue uh, when you turn your follow focus. You can't have your follow focus making your camera move. You need your camera locked down, obviously, um, solid. So, though I haven't put my camera in the CPM yet, I'm assuming that this material is a lot stronger than uh, the material in the Film City rig, and I won't have that issue. Uh, if I do, I'll probably up also upgrade for this rig as well. I'll put a link to the upgraded base plate and quick release in the notes on my video. Okay, so the negatives with the CPM are the fact that you've got to use a hex wrench to get in there to loosen uh, the quick release plate, and the fact that there's ridiculous amount of play in these grips. I'm going to be uh, talking to CPM about fixing those two issues. The major issue with the Film City rig is the fact that once you get your camera on here quite tight and you put a follow focus on the front and start to turn the follow focus, there is a bit of play in this quick release plate so that your camera will move a little bit uh, against your follow focus. So an upgrade is needed for the Film City rig, uh, either replacing the quick release or the quick release and the base. Other than those two issues, these two rigs are comparable. If you're on a budget and you don't mind spending the extra $30, $35 to replace uh, the base and quick release, then the Film City rig is definitely a good buy. But if you've got a little bit more money to spend, um, I know that CPM will work with you on any issues that you have. This is a better rig. Um, but I'm not sure if it's a $400 better rig. It's definitely a better made rig. And once you get all a whole bunch of gear on here, I trust this material a little bit more than I trust the formed plastic that's on the Film City rig. The reason why I left a little bit of uh, space at the top of these rigs is because, I mentioned this before in my other video, you can pick up these little uh, quarter inch mounted um, 15 millimeter clamps, 15 millimeter things that you can um, attach to the top of these uh, extra bit of rod and mount your microphone and light and recorder or whatever else you want to mount to the top of this. Thanks for watching. Check out DSLR Nerd for more videos. And if you like this content, please subscribe.